Okay, what we're going to do in this video is talk about our fast idle and our choke for outboard motors. And this would be for anybody who owns an outboard motor and really isn't familiar with those two things or somebody that's having trouble starting the outboard motor. Um, a lot of times they start up right away and then after a while of sitting out in the lake, it seems that they really just don't want to start at all. Um, so first of all, what are they? What is the fast idle and the choke? Uh, well, I have a control box right here. Um, this one here is for an Evinrude, but they're all pretty much the same thing. And this would be your fast idle right here. It's basically a lever that you just raise up and it pulls on the throttle without putting it in gear. And of course, this is to make it spin a little faster to help it start up a little bit easier. Um, another question people have is, why do motors do this? Why do we need these two things? Well, one of the reasons um, we need them is because the motors get cold. You gotta remember, on an outboard motor, you're using the water from the lake to cool down the motor, where in a car, you're using the water that sits in the motor all the time. The water doesn't leave the engine in a car. Well, because you are using the lake water for an outboard, it tends to cool the motor down really fast. So the motor gets cold naturally, but then on top of that, you're actually making it colder as you try to start it. So where we have it where the flywheel just spins and spins and spins, it's continuously pumping in cold water and it's actually making the motor colder. So if your motor doesn't start right away, then that's normal. And that's why they put in these features, such as the, um, the choke and uh, the fast idle. Uh, here's one on a mercury box here. And the lever would be, this is an empty box by the way, um, but this is the lever right here. And then your choke button would be either a, a push button on the key or it would be right here. Somewhere along the control box, there'll be a button for it. Um, now what the choke does is the choke basically is going to allow in a little extra fuel. Um, here's an example of one right here. Uh, this is a carburetor off an Evinrude and what you would do is when you hit the choke that little door will close and that would allow more fuel in. Then when you combine this with your fast idle it will help jump start. So the motor will be moving faster and then it'll be getting more fuel. And the idea is to let it run just for a little while um, to help get it warmed up. Once it's warmed up, it should idle just fine. Um, let's see. Now, perhaps you don't have a choke. You might have a primer. Uh, on a lot, this is from a Mercury, but Evinrude uses something similar. Instead of the choke, they started replacing the choke with this. And it's the same thing. What you do is when you hit the button, it just allows a little extra fuel in the carburetors. So it's the same principle, just a different method. Um, now there is one Mercury control box I did want to show. Uh, I don't have one of these here, um, but I have a picture of it here on my tablet. I'm not sure if the camera picked that up. And on this one, what you do is you hit that button right there and then you will slowly push it in forward and what that button will do is it will release it from shifting and it, it will do the same thing as the um the fast idle just by slightly hitting that button you don't want to move the lever the lever all the way in drive but rather probably about 20 or 30 percent depending on the temperature um, and that's how that one works on that control box I just wanted to show that because I get a lot of people to ask about that because they can't find the, the lever. So um, basically that is it. I can't tell you exactly how long to hold the push button or exactly um, how high to raise the throttle because it all depends on your motor um, and the temperature of the water, the temperature of the air. So practice with it. Um, get used to it uh, and don't get frustrated if your motor doesn't start right away because most of the time if this is it then it's common um, of course you want to rule out your your um, compression and your spark you want to make sure that those things are good uh, but most of the time that's this is what it is now if you would like to keep watching what I'd like to do is I like to go ahead and um, give you an example with my own motor here on this boat this is a 1971 Glastron, and um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So the first thing I'm going to do 
is I'm going to pump water through it to help get the motor real cold because we're trying to mimic uh, how it will function in a lake. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the water and I have the spark plugs disconnected so I'm going to pump the water through it with no spark and the water hopefully will cool down the motor enough. Give me one moment. Now, first of all, today is a really hot day, so the motor may just start right up because I think even the tap water may be pretty warm. But I'm gonna go ahead and, and crank it and fill it up with water. Okay, so what I'm doing there, now I can see the water pouring out, out the side of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the spark plugs back. Okay, so now the spark plugs are back in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to start it normally to see if it will start up. And uh, the idea is that it won't, but it might, because like I said, because it's so warm right now. So let me see if it'll start. Okay, so you can hear it right there. It's not starting. I'm gonna pick up the camera now. So there's a lot of, I'm not the best at holding a camera. <laughs> So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and crank it over again. Okay, so we see it's not starting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise my fast idle. I'm going to turn the key and push in. And that's going to really open up the primer. And I'm going to turn the key and hold it for about four seconds. There you go, and I just turned it off. So let me go ahead, turn it on again, see if it's warmed up. It's still warming up a little bit, but as you can see, it's now starting with no problem. Okay, there you go. I hope you guys found this uh, video educational. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you.